Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today I have a jailbreak tweak of the week for you. This one uh, will actually enable some of the 3D touch capabilities that the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus have. Um, normally, according to Apple, you need hardware changes that those two phones have in order to use these features, but truth be told, you know, it's not much different than tap and hold in a lot of respects. Uh, so a developer realized that and actually added the ability, at least on the home screen, he's trying to make it work for everything else. Um, but you can check it out now uh, and it works pretty well. Okay, so first up, in order to do this, you must be jailbroken. So please click the link below this video um, on my site and click the jailbreaking link there and then you'll be taken to this where you can choose the version of iOS that you are on. Click that link and proceed to do that video. Uh, it's really quick, and then once you're done, come back to this one to continue. Next, you need to open the Cydia store, tap search at the bottom right, and search for reveal menu, and tap that, tap install, tap confirm, and wait for that to install. Tap restart springboard and wait for that. Then when it reboots, you can go into settings and scroll down to reveal menu and tap that to get access for the settings of the app. So you can tap, turn this on to enable swipe up in order to enter edit mode because long pressing now uh, does the 3D touch. So if you long press, it no longer gives you edit mode so you can move your icons around. But turning that on will allow you to swipe up on an app uh, in order to get back to that mode. You can also turn on haptic feedback so that it vibrates once you're done. Um, which is more of the real way that it works on the newer phones. Uh, change the vibration and the duration. Once you change any of these, you also need to respring the device, which you can do by tapping that button there. So, tap respring, and you'll now be able to long press to get the new quick actions. And swiping up on an icon will bring up your normal edit mode. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want more jailbreak tweaks, just click the link below this video to be taken to my blog, where you can check out other stuff, news, tutorials that I do, um, but also more jailbreak tweaks in the jailbreaking section listed at the top. If you guys enjoyed this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. Or you can follow me on the social networks at The Unlocker or at D. Kogan. And as always, thanks for watching.